Now that I've shown you some of the cool books and gadgets that I got, I'm going to show you some upcoming sewing projects that I have. These are a variety of things. They're not all the same at all, but I can't wait to share with you. Some of these things are vintage and some of these things are not, but they're still all going to be so fantastic and I'm all about anything to do with sewing. I can't wait to share with you. So the first thing I want to share with you is this pattern here. I'm just going to hold it up really close to the camera so you can see. Do you see the lines of that skirt there? And do you see it in a photograph form? You can see by the X on it, I got the pattern on sale. This skirt here, I'm going to make out of some wool and I feel like it's got an Edwardian inspired feel to it but it's not actually a Victorian or Edwardian pattern at all. But with these inset pleats like this, it gives the feel of a gourd skirt and it's got the fitted waist and it's definitely a nice long length. This is going to make a really beautiful skirt. What I plan to do with this is I do have some wool fabrics here. So first I'm gonna share with you, this piece of wool here is 100% wool. I even did the burn test and I know for sure it burns, it doesn't just singe up. This is 100% wool. The problem with it is I only have about a meter, me uh, I have about a meter and a half of this. It's a good width, I think it's closer to 60 inches wide, but it does have some limits to how much fabric I have to work with. So I might try and make that skirt, but it will be more like a knee length, like a walking skirt of some sort. That's about all I have for that. If that doesn't work, then what I can do is use this fabric here. This is a wool blend. So this fabric, I did do the burn test on it because I bought it several years ago. So I don't actually know if it's 100% wool or not. So I did the burn test. It's pseudo burned, pseudo singed. I can tell it truly is a wool polyester blend. So with this, I have four, almost four and a half meters and it's pretty good width. Um, I'm either going to make like a full Victorian walking skirt out of it or use that pattern I showed you. It is also enough for a suit pattern I have, but I'm pretty sure I want to make a fancy skirt out of it. So I can't wait to share that with you. For my next project, I have this nice vintage pattern here. This is a 1937 original. I'm sure you can see that there. And just look at the beautiful detail on that the bolero jacket that's got a couple of layers, the tulip sleeves on that, and the nice little pockets. Look at all the detail. It, it's just a beautiful outfit and you can see the sketched interpretation there. Same thing on the back. You can see the sketch interpretation of this garment. I can't wait to make this. I think that it would actually still look quite relevant even today. At the time that I bought this pattern, I just so happened to find some fabric as well. I have almost four and a half meters of this here fabric. It is a polyester blend. We all have budgets here, but all I need to complete this pattern that I'm showing you here is some white fabric for all those edging and a belt and some notions. So definitely a beautiful vintage project coming up this year. Next, I'm going to show you a piece of fabric I bought that I simply had to have. And this one, I plan to make a Victorian style nightgown. Check this out. See this fabric here? I have like a lot of it. There is about four meters of this fabric here. And what really drew me to this is it is 100% cotton. It's a flannel. Um, and how often do you see flannels that look like this? Like, honestly, most flannels either look like a children's print or plaid or they're plain fabric. But to get something like this that's nice, soft, thick flannel, I've already washed it, and it's got a beautiful pattern like that. I just felt like this was so unique. So I'm going to make a Victorian style nightgown out of it. It will be a little non-traditional based on my fabric choice, but is going to be so pretty and so comfortable. It's gonna be a great project to share with you. Another thing I wanted to share with you was a quilt that I've been working on since the summertime. It's assembled, but it still needs all the applique work on it. It's going to be quite a bit more detailed when it's done, but I just thought I'd share this with you. I'll just hold this up and show you so that then you can get some. 
footage. One other project I wanted to mention that's definitely on my list for 2020 is using this book that I'm going to make my first corset. I have this uh, fabric here, it's like a proper poplin, it's actually like shirting material to make a, a button down, but I think it might be heavy enough to actually do the corset with, so we'll see. That might work out, if not, I might have to buy another fabric but that's definitely on the list of my projects for this year as well. And finally, the next pattern that I have that I'm gonna share with you was directly influenced by our friend, Bernadette Banner. Bernadette did a video about the Hamilton Spencer jacket pattern. So you probably have seen her video and a cup, many other sewists have done a video on this pattern as well. So I took a little bit of the Christmas money that I got and I purchased this pattern. So when you print out the pattern, it this is like all the directions on how to actually make the pattern. And then they also provide you, you print out all these pages. This is gonna tape together and in essence, make the full size pattern pieces so that you can assemble the project. So of course, drum roll please. What are we making said jacket out of? I can't wait to show you. This here, beautiful 100% wool fabric. Let me show you something about this. I have this beautiful 100% wool fabric that was given to me by a friend a long time ago and I've just always been waiting for what I felt like was the perfect project. Do you guys ever do that? You fall in love with a fabric and you buy it and you know it's like well one day I'm gonna find the pattern that's calling me and saying this is what this fabric will make. Well this jacket is it and you see it is actually a beautiful it's made by Blin and Blin in France, which probably doesn't even exist anymore because I've had this fabric for a long time, but it's beautifully preserved. And you can see, I don't know if you can quite catch it. Do you see the sheen? It's got like a brushed finish on it and it's just gonna drape so beautifully. So what am I putting with it for the lining? I just so happen to own this beautiful lining fabric here and I have enough of it as well. And let me show you, it says some cool stuff like sweet Paris, French cafe. So I just thought that once I'm wearing this jacket, if it's open at all and you got this nice print, it will peek out and just be a nice little pop of color and surprise. I can't wait to share that project with you. It's going to be so fantastic. So there you have it, everyone. That's my projects coming up for this year. Um, there's also that quilt that I showed you and there's always extra things that come up along the way, but I'm sure you can appreciate this is a good start. We got a nice little blend of um, vintage style things and actual history bounding garments as well. It's gonna be a nice little blend and uh, I can't wait to show you the rest. I hope you have a great day. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Cassie from The Vintage Thimble. Take care guys, bye. Are you still here? That's so cool. I probably should have told you about all the other projects that might come up as well because we can have the best laid plans and ultimately decide to do something else. Or I could just choose a different order to do each project in. You never know. You never know which one will be first. You're going to have to watch and find out. Hey YouTube, welcome back. You're <laughs> <laughs>